Hi, my name is Rich Harrington for CreativeCow.net, and today we're taking a look at some of the brand new features inside of Photoshop CS5. One of the coolest things that I really love is a significantly improved raw decode engine. Now, many of you have discovered that shooting camera raw files or getting raw photos from your clients gives you much greater control over exposure and color. I wanted to show you just how easy it is to now work with the raw file. Now, you could choose File New and choose a film and video preset that matches what you need for your program. Click OK and it makes a new document and then choose File Place. The advantage of File Place is it adds the photo as a smart object. So I can go ahead and grab a picture and click Place. Once we do that, a new window opens up and we've got all sorts of controls here, but I'm just going to show you a couple real quick. First off, don't be afraid of the word auto. That's going to do a nice job of sort of filling things in. In this case, I can go ahead and recover those blown out skies a bit and put a lot more vibrance in to make them richer. You could also put a little fill light in to fill in some of the shadowy areas and get a total new development. That works great. You want to round out with a little more saturation. It's looking fantastic. What's also really cool here, though, is that you've got great control over noise. Under the third tab here, Detail, you could actually reduce the amount of noise, especially in the darker areas. And that lets you just clean that up. Notice there, as we drag through, we can get rid of more noise. And click OK. Once you do that, it adds the object as a smart object meaning that filters are non-destructive, and you can go ahead and size this any way you like. So if you place that and then decide it's too small, no big deal. Command or Control T for free transform, and you can actually scale that up to fill the image as you need. And it's not going to blow up the pixels because what it's done is it reads inside of the file and actually re-decodes the raw file and draws it at the higher resolution. So you see that works fantastic. Again, file place, grab a file that you want. Here's a nice raw file. Camera raw dialog box opens up. You got the ability to recover some of those blown out skies as you see there. Tweak exposure up or down. Rich in the blacks. Put a little fill light into the shadows as necessary. Jump on over to the third tab and take out some of that noise. This image in particular had a whole bunch of it. So if we go in there and we look at this originally, you see a lot of grain. But we can go ahead and bump that up and actually remove a whole bunch of that noise from the raw file. Click OK, it adds it in. And just scale to taste. Holding down Shift and Option or Shift and Alt to scale it up equally in all directions from the middle. There we go. So, great way there to go ahead and handle raw files. Drop them into any video size document, whether it's square or non-square pixels. All the conversion is going to happen in the background for you with no thought. Very flexible. And we've got a lot more training and development here at Creative Cow. So we've got a whole bunch of new Photoshop training that's going to come your way, both some podcasts and the Creative Cow Master Series, which is going to cover advanced techniques available on DVD and digital files. My name's Rich Harrington. Thanks for checking us out.